So here we have a question about sulfur dioxide. Now, you may have learned about sulfur dioxide in a number of places in the syllabus. Uh, maybe in your study of group 2 compounds, you'll see why in a minute. Maybe in your study of alkanes as a pollutant. Maybe in your study of periodicity or period 3, um, as it sulfur appears in period 3. So sulfur dioxide is produced when some fossil fuels are burnt. Which of the following statements is true? So it's, it's a knowledge question. We just have to know the answer. Sulfur dioxide can be removed from waste gases in a power station by an acid-base reaction with calcium oxide. That is actually true. If you don't remember that equation, this is the equation that we're looking at. This is how calcium oxide is used in um, cooling towers to remove sulfur dioxide and minimise the effect of acid rain. Now, if you weren't 100% sure about that fact because you hadn't memorised it, you could look down the others and see if you knew whether the following statements were incorrect. So sulfur dioxide is insoluble in water. Well, that's incorrect. They're trying to get you to think about that one because silicon dioxide is insoluble in water because it's a macromolecule. Sulfur dioxide dissolves in water to make sulfuric 4 acid. So it's acidic. Also, that then answers this one. Sulfur dioxide is basic. Non-metal oxides always make acids. Metal oxides make bases. So this is, this is incorrect. This is incorrect. Sulfur dioxide is an ionic compound. Well, it doesn't contain a metal and it isn't an acid in the sense that it's H2 something or H something. So sulfur dioxide is not ionic. It's made out of two non-metals. It's a simple mo molecule. And therefore, we, we've confirmed what we thought, which is that A is correct.